Yeah, hi everyone. As I said last week, I've been kind of sick, so uh, I, my voice are still kind of rough. Uh, it's because of this cold. I don't know what's going on. Usually um, these colds and flus are over with around early spring or autumn, but now it seems like uh, they are still <laughs> around here in the summer because my family been sick and I know other people have been sick, uh, people at my gym and everything, so I don't know what's going on. And how I'm feeling better, but uh, my voice are, it's kind of hard to talk for a longer time, so I will be doing a smaller video. But uh, uh, one of our students, older students actually, went down to Spain and comp competed in the European master there and actually won a gold medal so that was kind of fun uh, we've been pre preparing some before she went down there um, still though the competition itself was more of a hunch for her she just uh, well she was going there to for vacation and saw that there was a competition and she signed up and what do you know she actually won the whole thing very very fun uh, so um, I've been helping her prepare before this but that was because um, of her last competition so we've been um, talking about uh, what she need to work on and uh, stuff like that in, in, in for uh, the future competitions so um, it's kind of a prepara preparation for this, uh, but I, uh, as I said to my wife too, I, this are her victory. I, as a coach and uh, um, as, a, as a trainer at our gym, do not want to take credit for this. Uh, it's her whole thing, it's her, her doing, uh, it's her competing. I'm just glad to be able to give her tip and uh, yeah, she's been following them quite well too. There's still stuff to work on, she's still a white belt, uh, but um, she's getting there. So um, yeah, this was a good thing to see. Uh, so down to it, the video is uh, just a few weeks before she went down to Spain. So this are kind of a preparation for the fight, but not... Uh, for this particular particular fight uh, because she just did this on uh, a short uh, short notice but um, you can see how i work and how i uh, been helping her prepare uh, we talked about uh, what she did uh, what she need to work on from her last competition and uh, i see a lot of myself in her in that uh, it's easy for a small person to lay down on your back and just be lazy so I wanted her to take control and do her fight not do the other person's fight so yeah I will just uh, start video and uh, there are some narration there too and uh, yeah it can be fun to see what I'm doing with to help our students at the gym. It's not only me who been helping her. She has a, a lot of other uh, people around her down at the gym. The girls are, have been helping her too to get her game together. So uh, yeah, but uh, as I said, it's her medal. It's her. It, it's her victory. So I. Do not want to take credit for it. But yeah, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Uh, my plan was to make her work for it. Uh, make her take, take control. Because it's easy when you're small to just lay down on your back and uh, be lazy about it. I was the same myself when I was new. So yeah. Uh, if you get on top, stay on top, as they say. Um, I reverse it here, uh, going for some kind of uh, mermaid control. The same kind of control 
Habib Nurmagomedov was doing in UFC. Uh, it's uh, really annoying, and if you can hit someone, it's really really bad too. Um, I'm using it, using it to uh, get up and mount, just uh, creeping my way upward. Uh, she's doing a good job defending, and uh, yeah, uh, some kind of uh, half guard, which is better than mount. Um, I have her hand behind her neck, so uh, yeah, I'm making her work for it. And here I am uh, putting pressure, sitting on her and going for armbar. We stayed here for a bit because uh, we talked about defense and escapes, so I let her uh, try to figure out how to uh, work the escape. And here we go. She push push off. Put her hand through, arm through, and up. Shelf my legs and go for a side control. Uh, I'm still making her work for it. So if I find an obvious, uh, some obvious little thing that I can do, I I use it. Uh, here she's going for. Uh, for Braulio's uh, yeah, kind of uh, cradle smash pass, which is really, really good. I was showing her that earlier, this uh, lesson. Um, as I said, I, I'm always uh, trying to expose the small uh, things she's doing. So if she leaves something for me that I can slip in my leg or something, I will do it. So here I uh, went back to guard. Uh, which means you have to do the pass again, and she's doing it uh, really, really well. And this time she's keeping my leg. Uh, she's trying to go for some kind of backward mount or uh, or uh, north, north, south, I think. Uh, keeping her leg in the half guard, uh, mainly because I want her to. Uh, figure out how to get out of it. She kind of did there, but stepped in on the other side. Uh, guard again, making her work for the pass. Up on her toes, find the angle, split the guard. There, nice. Over in mount this time. And I told her to uh, not stress the positions, just uh, take the position and stay there uh, and feel it. So she's doing it really good here. Uh, yeah, she's leaving a little spot here for me to slip out, so I, I did it. And we're in half guard, half guard again. Uh, and here is uh, also a thing. She, uh, is kind of getting stuck in this position. Uh, I did show her to not be so... Yeah, exactly. Uh, if you can't go at one side, you can always try the other side. Uh, you always get kind of hell-bent. I will to want to go through on, on one side and forget that you can actually pass on the other side. So, yeah, she finally got it there. It's really, really, really good. So go over there and, yeah, and, and she can slip out the... Uh, the leg in a quarter mount. So, yeah, really, really good. So, yeah, we will go another round in a few few, few seconds. Uh, yes, just talking a bit about uh, what she's doing and what she did well and so, so. Very, 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 very good. And, yeah, here, here we go again. I... Uh, stay down a bit to see if she want, wants to lead uh, because I want her to take control not to uh, end up on her back uh, in a in a position when it comes to competition you will lose on your on your back most likely and it's uh, really uh, taxing to have someone heavier on you it will uh, drain your energy yeah 
Uh, and she's going for the pause again, which is she's been doing really, really well. And there we go. I try to uh, frame her down and move up, but she's keeping good pressure. And she's try she's have she have been trying to set up um, mounted triangles uh, backward, which is kind of good at too. But I defended it. So here's the back take. And uh, here's a dangerous thing. She nearly crossed her legs, but uh, figured it out herself. Um, the legs was on the side, so it wasn't that dangerous for footlock. Um, yeah, and here she's... When I was about to get out, she nearly got mount. I swept her. Uh, so, yeah, I sat down there to see if she uh, could scramble and get up. Yeah. Guard again. Uh, let's see here. I have her arm across my chest, so it's kind of dangerous. But she's still trying to pass, doing quite a good job. I regained the guard, but she got her arm out. Um, I used the lapel to trap the arm too, so it was kind of... Uh, yeah, not a dick move maybe, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and here, I think she's going for the Braulia. Bra Braulia is the pass again. Uh, yeah, so you need to go over my head, find the angle. And this is kind of dangerous, but she still have the angle. So she sold it. Yeah, and here mount or quarter mount. If she had stepped up a little further, maybe. But she got to the back again and nearly crossing her legs again. But uh, yeah, she figured it out herself. I know how it is. It's really, really easy to cross your legs because it feels better. It's kind of in your DNA to cross the legs to to keep the, the position. But uh, uh, yeah, she's going for some kind of choke here. I'm on my way out. Uh, she tried to get me on my back, but uh, I swept, swept her all over. So now she has to work from from bottom. Um, she's doing really, really well. Get distance and try to maintain the distance with with her legs. Shoot for a triangle, triangle, um, and yeah, up on her legs again, which is good, which I was uh, telling her. Get up on her legs and uh, try to uh, do your game. Don't play the other person's game. Uh, some kind of weird scramble here. Uh, belts are everywhere, and yeah, you get kind of entangled. Yeah, she go back to guard and to stay safe. I talked about uh, often when you're new competition and meet new people, you find those people who close down the game. And I tried to do that a little to her here, so you could feel it. Um, but she's doing a good job to stay active all the time, and that's uh, one, her, one of her biggest strengths, to just uh, move constantly. And it can be her downfall too, so I told her to slow down her game a bit. Um, which she has been doing, she was uh, way worse with it before, but now she's uh, more of a uh, more of a thinking grappler. So, and then she can use her, her speed and use her movements to actually do good stuff with it. And let's see here how she defends, <laughs> defends the back. Uh, this is something we've actually been working on in our advanced class to take the back and, and keep the back and attack from there. So, um, she's kind of a deep, deep water against me. Um, 
I go for the key lock trap, which I've been uh, practicing for a while now, and uh, and here it's kind of game over. Uh, she's very very trapped in in, in this position, and uh, yeah. I talked about this position position before, uh, and even if she goes over here, I can uh, roll through, uh, keep the triangle lock. If I can dig the arm out, I will do it. Um, triangle can be hard to finish from here. She, she's actually doing a good thing here. She's trying to move over to break the lock, uh, well, break where the foot are, are locked. But uh, yeah, I got the arm there, so tap. Yeah, but overall, I was happy with this session because she's uh, been um, doing doing really really well, and um, also that show too. She she went down to Spain and uh, actually get the European Master Gold Medal. So yeah, it's. Um, Really, really fun to see uh, our students grow and uh, do well in competitions. Uh, the best part here, I think, um, for myself personally, I always talk about how I am too old to to compete, but she's actually the same age as me. Uh, so uh, there are, yeah, there might be hope for me too if I could get my back in my. Uh, knees in some uh, good uh, yeah if I can get them uh, good, good enough to, uh, to at least uh, so they don't break at least so yeah but we'll see what I do but it's uh, fun to see that uh, I actually uh, one of the older people in our gym do well so there you have it just a small sparring session uh, yes, I think it was two weeks before or three weeks before she was going down to Spain. Um, so, yeah, there you have it.